Hi, Dr. Nelson here from CounselingTransforms.com where we help our clients achieve their best self, better relationships, and a more balanced life. Gottman has also identified what he calls the four horsemen of the apocalypse when it comes to a relationship. So the four horsemen of the apocalypse are criticism, defensiveness, stonewalling, and contempt. Today's topic is relationship Armageddon number two, defensiveness. Interesting thing that we see a lot when we're working with couples is that one tends to attack, the other tends to defend. As you might have guessed, this is probably not good for communication or for emotional intimacy or for the relationship itself. So one of the things that we do is we help clients to identify what their emotion is and the behavior that they need from the other one and then to communicate that directly. So for example, I feel hurt and I need you to change your tone. The difference between that and you don't care or you always talk to me like that or you never care about what I think or feel, you, you can kind of sense the difference between those. So I'm a fan of the I feel, I want or need statements. So I feel, insert emotion, I need, insert the behavior that we need from the other person. It's a much more effective means of communication and it helps us to think through things before we speak. However, a lot of times what happens is one person, instead of hearing what the other one is saying, they get defensive and then it becomes a battle of who's right, who's wrong, and then we try to each prove our point as opposed to hearing each other. A much more effective method is to try to identify what the other person's point of view is and reflecting that to them. The interesting part about that is it doesn't mean that I have to agree with them, but that bypasses the defensive kind of a thing. and so comes out something like this. So uh, here's what I'm hearing you say is that when I raise my voice, you feel hurt and you need me to be more mindful of my tone. Yeah, that doesn't mean that I'm a bad person or anything like that, but what I'm doing is I'm reflecting the other person's point of view. And usually when we feel hurt and understood, we actually de-escalate rather than escalate. In contrast, when someone gets defensive, Usually what we do is we come up with a rebuttal or we say that's not true because of this, 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 and this. The problem with that is, is it chops off the other person's uh, emotion and their experience. It invalidates their experience. Or if you're perhaps a more, how shall I put it, experienced arguer, you might say, yeah, I'm hearing you say that. And then what do we do? We add, yes, here it comes, the but. So, yeah, I understand that when I raise my voice, it upsets you, but, and then I add my two cents in and that invalidates what I just said earlier. And so takes us back to where the other person does not feel heard and understood. And then they're probably going to escalate through a defensive response of their own. So a much better approach is the, I feel I want or need statement. And then reflecting that back to the person that um, I have the relationship with until we both feel heard and understood. So, that's one way to improve a relationship is communicating more directly using the I feel I want or need statement and the other is actually going to kind of shut things down. So a defensive reaction is on its way to stonewalling and stonewalling is much more severe and much more damaging but the the beauty of the situation is we don't have to agree. I can reflect your point of view even if I don't share that point of view, you're gonna feel heard and understood. And then if you reflect my point of view, I'm gonna feel heard and understood. And so guess what? We don't even have to fight about it. That's the cool thing about this method and it really does work. The, uh, the, the secret that he has come up with through all this research that he's done over the last 30 years is there's a ratio that is important for couples to know. It's a five to one ratio. So couples that do well over the long haul uh, have five positive interactions to every one negative interaction. 